What up, Dave? Hey, definitely no kids breaking into this recording. That is 100% <laughs> for sure, for sure. How's it I going, know. Chris? Yeah, I, I literally was just like, Ruby, go watch Bluey and don't come in here. <laughs> yeah. I'm, there is a, is, if I do this move, that, <laughs> that means yeah. don't come in my office. Oh, okay. Sometimes yeah. she freaks me out because she comes under my desk and I look at her like, ah! Su- surprise. <laughs> Uh, we'll see uh, if that happens. She's currently not in the office. It's like the uh, video, the cover of Ghoulies, that old VHS cassette. Anyway, go. <laughs> I love it. you. Always got something, something weird for us. Yeah, man. Here's what we're gonna do. I thought I was on this website of a definitely not a sponsor of the show, although they could be. It looks kind of interesting. It looks like some kind of like help you with feature flags kind of app or something. I have no idea how I came across it. Um, but look at as you scroll. Look, it's a pretty nice looking page, right? I know a lot of these pages look the same, but I like the font. I like the colors. I like that they have kind of a motif rolling that looks good. Look at as you get down. Ooh, that one started going. But these ones, see them? Uh, oh, they didn't go. Maybe they ended. Well, that was the worst reveal ever. The whole oh, point of this was uh, okay. Those things. The whole point of this is that I was you're going to scroll down there, and I, and I noticed that they then they move. See, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and I was mm-hmm. like, oh, that's classy. But it seemed like they weren't just moving the entire time, you know. So I looked at them, and I'm like, oh, it's just a, it's just a little plays in line, b- buster. Mm-hmm. But they don't have autoplay on them. Notice, do you see? Right. They don't. There's none of that. They weren't just playing the whole time. Mm-hmm. So what if you had to do that? What if you woke up and your Jira ticket was like, hey, Dave, I want these inline videos to play on this website when they're scrolled down to, would you, would you be like, easy or what? Yep. We're, <laughs> I mean, yeah. you're getting into the HTML media element API, which is my wheelhouse. I know how to do this, but, uh, but really? I think you're going to have to mix in a... Um, like a, a, a an intersection observer, which is not not my favorite, but um, yeah. All right. So anyway, okay. video plays when you get to it. Okay, I could do this too. I just don't know how. You know, I would mm-hmm. just be like, yeah, I can do that, and then I would just figure out how to do it because I know intersection observer is a thing, and mm-hmm. I know that you can like call like dot play on a video, right? So yep, yep, it yep. can't be that hard. So I I stole their video from Yoink. their CDN or whatever. Mm-hmm. I'll just kick it on to CodePen hosting right quick. I called it. Oh my God. She's under the desk. <laughs> Founder. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pop that video on there. I'm going to attempt to ignore it. It's not going to happen. There's, in a, I called it Lull Video to mm-hmm. pop in right here. Lull Video. We have a little inline play thing. Okay. Sorry for stealing your video. I'll delete it later or whatever. Um, I won't. <laughs> yeah, I'll forget unless your PR team emails me or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so video, pop the source on there, and it's going to kick on to here. No problem, right? Why can't it source? Oh, no. I thought for sure that would work. Oh, do you need, like, controls or something? Because it's you not. You could add controls and just see if that video is Maybe the first loading. frame of it was white. Yeah, then you kick it and it goes. Okay. So the first go. frame was white. That's why you couldn't see it. So that's actually even better that it's just nothing if there's no controls on it. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. But we could say like body padding top 2000 pixels or something. Then there's a lot of scrolling. Then guaranteed the video is down here somewhere. And that's when I want it to start. Mm-hmm. So for now, I'll put, you know, border one pick solid red or something so we can Perfect. see it but it's otherwise there it is so we have one job in the world today dave is to make that stupid video play as soon as you can see it at all i don't even care if it's one pixel on the screen okay. like that then you can see it yep. well and i know intersections and reserves are involved because there's no way html or css can do this right there's no way no not really um i mean nope I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so either. Like maybe yeah. some future API or something, but I think so... there's like maybe a weird thing where GIFs don't autoplay unless they're in the viewport, but I, I don't want to say that for real, but I, I think that's like a weird thing about GIFs. But anyway, um, anyway just the image format. So. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know anything about that, but I do know that this thing exists. And the point of it is, is that uh, what, what, you know, in the past, what you'd have to do is like bind to a scroll event and get the, scroll y position and, and then get, you know all kinds of math and, and stuff yeah that's a bad deal because you're basically like you have to do math 
Mm. Every scroll. And so it's firing thousands and thousands of times and you're measuring the window and measuring where the element is and, and you're basically layout thrashing. <laughs> Whereas Intersection Observer basically just says, hey, I'm... I'm yeah. only on the element. I'm, I'm actually watching whether the element and the window are intersecting. So, mm. okay, that's not working. Oh, you, you may don't... not even need the options. Mean... Yeah, I would maybe even delete the whole options. And oh, you don't even need it. Uh, they're pretty good themselves. So, so what? And then the callback could just be in line or something. I don't even know where to start, man. Shit. I want to no, have this will work. This will yeah. work good. Okay. This will work good. So help me, man. Or okay, what are so we gonna do? You need a target. Interception observers need a target. So you'd say is like that the target, or is the uh, give that video an ID, maybe or okay, or document query selector video or something. I don't know. Yeah, now we're gonna go. use the Chris and Dave trick. We're now vid. So, it's just a thing. Yeah, I would actually break out of that. So break out of that. So mm -hmm. so const or vid right right. Um, that's gonna reference the like the, literally the dom element of this the dom element id of vid but actually you're, what you're going to do here is observer dot observe vid so you're okay. just saying observe this video right yeah and that intersection observer is going to fire its callback when when it, when video <laughs> uh intersects basically Whoa, so really it's not a two-liner is yeah, it so, seriously this easy? Yeah, so in the so new intersection observer, right? And then you have um, the the um, mm. uh, well, let's see if that works. Yeah, yep. Oh, but it's not visible yet. Yeah, because the intersection observer is just going to like keep firing because it's firing and it's saying yeah. no, it's not in there, and it's also firing and saying yes, it is in there. So you see why? Oh, funny. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I see. So we have we need logic. Yeah, and so the way you do this is so your parameters on that function are going to be entries and entries. observer. I think is how so mm -hmm. and we're going to do entries right so entries dot for each entry okay so you got to get a little in the weeds here yeah because it, basically anything that goes on this observer will so if you're putting 100 elements if we weren't just uh, doing i see it's it's i could observe all kinds of stuff you could observe thousands of elements and just pop yeah. them into this, this thing so entries dot for each entry mm -hmm. and now if you say entry dot is intersecting oh is that a that's part that's built yeah, into that's this built AP? into yep intersecting uh or maybe that, just say if i guess if entry dot is intersecting yeah let's see if that works is it a is it is it like a true false or is it like a function it's a, it's a boolean yeah or it might be a one or a zero that's cool that works or, <laughs> and then console.log uh console.log entry is intersecting and see oh and just see what i'll do that up above it just to see see what that value is just because we might want that yeah we might want it we just want to know what it's doing exactly false okay false. so false 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 true ha 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 now false, um, false. oh my god it is intersecting is amazing so we've already we don't even need this so this is that. the magic you know it's and gonna then, be true if you can see me false if you can't so then you just say vid dot play, play. i guess right because yep. play is because that's just built that's into this dom node and H2. notice we didn't this is the when i say chris and dave trick this is not really a chris and dave trick but like window.vid will automatically be this you mm -hmm. know every id gets its own variable it's a weird thing that javascript does but it's Did a kid a, just she cool. just she scoot through i didn't she see just it. went by and took can, a book can, off my shelf can she can she like make kid noises like a horror show <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Let's do it. Well, look. Oh my God. Look at that. We That's did so it. That's so cool. And then if you wanted to like, say like, uh, that was delicious, delicious. So you might, what you might want to do. So go back up and then go back down and let's see if it, on the scroll and see if it replays it from the beginning. Cause I bet it won't cause it's at the end. Oh, it does. It does. Okay. So plays, I wonder if you did it like real fast. I don't know, but you yeah, may want to like, what, what I'm saying is, well, like, in the else statement, you could go, like, 
entry or sorry else vid dot uh, current Stop time or- equals zero or something to like rewind it or something. Oh, uh, but you don't have to because it doesn't matter. Right? It, it seems like it's like doing it. So and maybe that would be jarring to your users. So yeah, it depends on what it is. This is so progressive enhanced, just funsies stuff that isn't that great. Yeah. Well, we solved the whole thing in five minutes here, so that's well, pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, wrap it up. But another cool thing you could do is if you wanted to do like like prefers reduce motion or something like that too, mm. you could just you could have that, and then you never play, and you just like go to the end of the video or something like that. So there's a lot of like different tricks you could do here. We should. That's it. Almost makes me sad that it didn't occur to me right away. Isn't there? Couldn't? Isn't it something like? Window dot match media, mm-hmm. and then it's a, a query like prefers reduced, prefers reduced motion. But isn't it? Do you have to go uh, like reduce. add media or something like no, that? No, you no? can just do um, uh, maybe parentheses around this if you want to be cool. But prefers reduced media or reduced motion colon reduce. reduce. Yeah. Uh, then do that thing. Then or. Er, Right. Then just go to the end. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, this oh, is where it gets confusing. So I see what you mean. Because so if, it, if they produce or reduced, uh, this is the that's reduce. That's the else, yeah. Yeah, that's the else. And oops, that's that. And the inside here, you go to the end. You do the vid. How do you go to the end? Is there I an easy thing? I don't know. Is there like vid dot. Uh, go to general, end of video. Media element. There's a stack Indian. overflow for it, I'm sure, you know. Right. Because the trick is you like need mute. Let's just go vid.current time. Is that in milliseconds? And let's just go like, you know, yeah. 200 or something. And then yeah. it'll. But then I, I. Oh, well, that actually. How did that work? It worked somehow. Do you have it set to reduce? No, um, I don't. Is this evaluating to true somehow? Oh, it's oh window dot match media dot matches. Sorry, that's like oh uh, dot matches or at the end of the query. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Like there you go. Hmm. False. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that makes sense. And so it's but it's stopped. so you'll need that on line four there, or you'll need to move the matches onto the if statement there. Oh, duh. Okay, mm-hmm. so now it will just play because I don't have that setting turned on. But off screen here, sorry about that video, people. I'm going to go into my system preferences, go under accessibility, and go under display, and then say reduce motion. And all of a sudden, did I don't it. know if I have to. Oh, it did do it, do it, didn't it? It moved right to that f- video frame. There it Let's is. change it to 250 and see if it changes what we're looking at. I think uh, it did. Go to like 10 or something or 15, 15. <laughs> 15 is great. Well, oh, weird. No, um, maybe is vid dot. Can I just type it in here? Vid dot current time equals zero. Oh yeah. That does actually work there. It just so happens that that <laughs> try, like, is super similar try like, to, to, to is it current time in seconds? It might be current time in seconds. One. Point one two. Oh, oh, it totally is. It is in seconds. Okay. Well, why? Nothing is in seconds in JavaScript. I don't know, man. They um, <laughs> must have been the same people who worked on the date API. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's uh, nice, though. It'll just stay, but it won't be a white frame because we know that's the beginning of it. So yeah, and if you wanted cool. it kind of cool, you could do like map that random or something, and you know, I don't know. Oh There's yeah, that'd be cool. That is great. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh. Got a scrape. Show it's urgent. Can you see me in the scrape? scrape? Oh, it's kind of a bad scrape. Did you get it at school or did you get it right now? I scrape it like this. Oh, okay. Okay, I gotta finish the video, okay? Give me a few minutes. I will take care of your scrape. Eat some Cheetos or whatever. I'm a good parent. These are like organic Cheetos. <laughs> I already finished my, my cheese puffs. 
Oh, she already finished them. Okay. Well, we should probably wrap up this video. <laughs> That's good. I'll do. I'll do. I'll do an apple for you in a minute. But I have a couple of things to tell you about really quick. First, one of them is that uh, uh, thanks so much for Amplify from AWS for sponsoring the video. Just a few days ago, as I speak, they released a new version of Amplify that is actually pretty impressive. I've been looking at it and playing with it a bit. There's one thing that I think you should know that it can do that's particularly fancy. I have an upcoming blog post that isn't quite published yet, but it has this integration between Figma and it, which is not so it's kind of like what if like your designer went into Figma, changed some colors, changed some stuff and then just like clicked a button and all the changes came into your site and you you literally did nothing. You see this like screenshot here. Yeah. You like link it to a Figma file, and then you go into the Amplify thing, and it says like, "Is this okay? Is this okay? Is this okay?" Because you're you're previewing it as it's as it's in there. It's pretty impressive. But I should back up and explain what Amplify is at all. It's kind of like you get to use a lot of the powers of AWS, but without having to <laughs> basically like. AWS is a little dense, let's say, you know, all the deep APIs and stuff. But this is like, okay, you're going to build a web app. What are you going to need? Well, I don't want you to tell me what framework to use. I want to just use Vue or React or whatever. But I am going to need like a GraphQL API or some kind of API. To, I'm going to need data storage. I'm going to need S3 to put stuff in a bucket. You know what it's like. You need all the stuff, you know? Yeah. I'm going to need auth and all that. Amplify is their way of saying like, hey, AWS has all this stuff. So like, why can't you just like, like we're going to ball it up for you with really nice DX with also like a CLI that's just like Amplify deploy. And then it just shoots out to their, so it's all, it's all that DX that, that developers are, are, are starting to expect these days, but balled together. And then on AWS, which is, you know, notoriously reliable and has uh, SLAs and all that kind of stuff. So it's just really cool. Amplify Studio is the thing that they've been working on and iterating a whole bunch, which is kind of like you have a dashboard for your app that's not online. It's local as you're working on the thing. That's what Amplify Studio is. If I hit get started for free, you can see what it's like. This is like in this is like your local host will have this, you know, oh, wow. dealing with your auth and your so let's say you're like, oh, I need, you know, I need to model out the data for my app, you know, you do it in here and you're like, well, that's what these screenshots of of data modeling that I did are like, oh, I need a house and the house has an address and an image URL and these are just strings and floats and stuff. You're not necessarily handwriting the schema. You are um, does it look creepy with a tiny hand behind yeah, my neck? I've seen him kind of reach over like a <laughs> cat, like when <laughs> cats can climb up on the chair. Yeah. <laughs> When you, uh, yeah, you model out the data like this, but the beauty of doing that is then Amplify like knows a little bit more about your app. So those Figma components are previewed here and you're just like, oh yeah, that little part of the Figma file, <laughs> that's <laughs> mapped to this particular piece of data and that's mapped to this particular piece of data. It's just like a very like incredibly modern way to scaffold out an app. And you know, th they're kind of serious. It's like what would have maybe taken months to piece all these pieces together, you're kicking out uh, within weeks or days and it's just it's impressive to watch there's an Ali Spatel video on it all and stuff it's worth checking out so high five to uh, to Amazon AWS Amplify Studio for the sponsorship and for their success with this thing I guess you'd call it a framework you know even though you get to use whatever framework you want it's while like using it super, meta framework super know, framework des design bridgey but it's cool yeah that's pretty yeah. sweet um, yep yep all right cheers thanks dave see ya bye thank you bye ruby <laughs>